I'm talking to Robert today because Robert is a guy that wants to learn how to play the guitar. And uh, something he's wanted to do, he can do it a little bit, but he wants to be able to do it better. So I'm going to tell uh, Robert how, how he can learn this, do this with more ease and more efficiency. So basically, uh, you, you already can play the guitar. If you don't know how to play the guitar, basically, if you just want to learn to play a few chords and uh, play a melody and maybe sing with yourself, it's pretty simple. You can get into that pretty, pretty easily, and I can show you ways to do that. That'll make it pretty, pretty comfortable and not, uh, not real. F it'll help you uh, get to where you want to go much sooner. With Robert, he's already played the guitar, so he's a college student around 20, and uh, he wants to learn how to play the guitar better. He wants to uh, raise the level of what he does, and uh, I can show him how to do that real easily. But basically, if you just practice a little bit every day, you just uh, repetition is the way to learn any anything, but the guitar especially. Just play a little bit every day and try to practice uh, different periods of time. You can practice 15 minutes at a time, uh, sometime a half an hour, and then come back to it later because your concentration will be better. And just kind of do the things that I show you and hold your hands the way I suggest that you do it. And uh, you can get a video from me if you want, or you can come to my my home in my studio in Burbank and take private lessons, which I suggest is probably the best way to do it. But anyway, uh, the main frustration for most people is like playing the guitar uh, so that they don't have to struggle and uh, have a hard time playing songs and singing with what they're doing, you know. And uh, I have a pretty good way to do that. So I think if you uh, connect with me in, in the form of private lessons, uh, you know, I also have a book that I wrote that's out for uh, a number of years that's very good. I have CDs and uh, a lot of different things that are available. So I think basically is the idea is to contact me at my studio in Burbank. My, my telephone number is 818-848-8192 and you all, you'll also see that on this video in case you forget to write that down. Anyway, uh, I think uh, uh, Basically, you want to learn how to play songs and play chords and accompany yourself. So I think you can do that. If you're a beginning guitarist, you're playing these kind of open string chords, like a G major chord, a C major, G7, and a G, stuff like that. And basically, when you get into playing more uh, intermediate and advanced stuff, you're just doing those same chords, like you're just doing something. Say you're doing uh, the key of G, you're going. So you're doing things like that. And you just add, like, you can do it like that, make it a little more modern. And that's something if you do every day, you, you learn sequences. Music is just a bunch of sequences. So uh, basically, when I started to play the guitar, oh, many, many years ago, uh, I would have uh, problems like trying to learn to do things. I would get stuck and think, oh, uh, I'm never going to learn this. And all of a sudden, uh, my teacher would get, make a suggestion to me and uh, I would, you know, all of a sudden try what he did, what he suggested, and all of a sudden I found that it would happen. Eventually in time when you do something over and over, uh, you'll find that it falls into place. And then all of a sudden you can do it, then you, you want to go to another level, so then you learn the next thing. So there's many, many different things in music that uh, you, you watch somebody play and it looks very easy and then you try it and it's not it's not quite so easy as it looks, but if you just do what the teacher, being me, of course, suggests to you, you can learn how to do a lot of these different things. So uh, when you're playing in the beginning, you want to play a melody and you want to play uh, some chords with it, so if you're playing a song. So you might be playing something from, I guess it's from Mary Poppins, you might be playing something with a melody and a little bass line that goes with it, something like Chim Chimini, Chim Chim Cherie.
something very simple like that. I'm just playing a melody with bass lines and stuff like that. Then, uh, just to show you what happens from going from beginning guitar to maybe playing more, uh, more modern chords, orchestral chords, if you take a song, uh, someone showed me this when I was, you know, just a young student. Take a song like uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and you play it the simplest way you could possibly play it, and then you add some other chords and it shows you how differently it sounds. For example, if you play uh, uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star with the simple chords, it's just the one, the four, and the five chord. For those of you that know a little bit about music, you intermediates and advanced, it's Robert. I'm talking to you, actually. So it's twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Okay, that's pretty simple, right? So if you take some modern chords and you play that around that, you add some substitution chords. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder where you are. That sounds a little bit better, I would say, wouldn't you? And uh, I think, you know, learning how to do that is not that difficult if you kind of like spend some time with me and let me show you how to hold your hands. Basically, uh, the way I hold my pick is like this so that the part that comes in contact with the string is, is open. You don't want to put your finger in line with the contact part of the pick. You want to do this and kind of hold the pick like that, so like that. And basically, when you Playing the left hand is very important. If you play, uh, if you just sort of keep your hand close to the neck. I always start with the chromatic scale. Like that, and you learn how to hold your hands down. Uh, it, it helps a lot, you know? But anyway, if, you, if, you're, if you're playing chords, I was going to uh, demonstrate a, a song to you that you might uh, like, you know. But there's a way of holding your left hand and your right hand, and also you have to have the guitar in a position where you can get at it. It's not like this, and not like this. So it's got to be close to your body. So if you have a strap sometimes, that helps a lot. But uh, there's a song that you might like, uh, written by Antonio Carlos Chobin from Brazil, and I think all of you will love this song. It's just a great song. It's called Someone to Light Up My Life. Where shall I go for the love to replace you? Someone to light up my life. Someone with strange little ways. Eyes like a blue autumn haze. Someone with your laughing style. And a smile that I know will keep haunting me endlessly. Sometimes in stars or the swift flight of seabirds, I catch a moment of you. That's why I walk all alone, searching for something I know, searching for something or someone to light up my life. I think that's about as beautiful a song as you want to play. There's so many songs that are beautiful like that that you can learn to play. And I hope that you will be getting in touch with me soon at my studio in Burbank. I look forward to talking with you, working with you to improve your guitar skills and your singing skills and so many different things that you're going to meet. Uh, it's going to just enrich your life, make your life happier. and You're going to feel good about yourself and uh, you're going to make a lot of new friends. And so that's that's the biggest uh, plus, I think, when you play the guitar and you sing. Makes you feel good about yourself and makes people want to be around you. So I hope you'll be calling me soon. Uh, uh, I look forward to talking with you and spending some time with you. And uh, it's great spending this afternoon with you, playing a little bit of the guitar and uh, getting acquainted with you uh, again, okay? I look forward to talking to you again. Thanks a lot.